Hey everybody, Miss Mays back here um, talking about solving word problems. Um, this is another type of word problems your students might see over the next few weeks and throughout the year. Um, and we're going to talk about this one too. Um, this says, Miss Campbell has some Reese's cups before Cody came home. Then Cody ate 56 Reese cups. Now Miss Campbell has 33 Reese cups. How many Reese cups did Miss Campbell have to start with? So if I'm just going by um, starting with our cubes, I need to circle my numbers, which are 56 and 33. Then I know that I need to underline my question, so I start at that question mark. And I work my way back to the start of the sentence, the capital letter. Now we have a couple of capital letters in here, so I make sure we go all the way to that period. How many Reese cups did Miss Campbell have to start with? And now I need to box my action words or my keywords. And I'm going to say to start with is a keyword. Um, we're going to do some up here because we know that some, when it says some, that's my question. That's what I don't know. That's what I need to know. So I can put my question mark up there. Cody eight. To me, eight means subtraction. Um, now. And um, we already have to start with. So first thing that we'll need to do is evaluate what we're doing. Um, we already evaluated that 8 meant that we were going to subtract. Um, so Miss Campbell had some. Some is what we don't know. That's our box. That's our question mark. He ate, which means we're subtracting 56. Now means those equal signs. We have 33. So once again, we have this crazy algebraic equation. You may be thinking, Miss Mays is nuts. She's teaching my kids all this crazy stuff. But what we're really doing is we're teaching strategies to problem solve. And some of your kids may say that she had some to begin with. Now, then I ate 56 and now I'm left with 33. I know all I need to do is do 56 plus 33 to get what I had to ha what I had at the beginning. So some of them may just write this equation, which is okay. They're problem solving. They already know what they need to do. Some kids may write out this equation, box minus 56 equals 33, and know that the box in a subtraction problem is the biggest number. So I have my two parts right here, 56 and 33, and I know I'm going to need to add them together. So they may come over here to the side and I'm going to do that in a different color, sorry. They may come over here to the side and just say, I know already I need to do 56 plus 33. I know that it says subtraction, but I know, I also know that in a subtraction problem, my biggest number comes at the beginning. And if this is my box, this is what I don't know. In order to get that big number, I know that I'm going to need to add these two together. Some kids may need that extra step of saying that um, subtraction is the opposite of addition. If an addition is 1, 2, 3, subtraction is 3, 2, 1. And they may need to come down here and put that on this fact family triangle. Remember, subtraction goes on the outside and addition goes at the bottom. 3 is always at the top. 1 and 2 are always at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. So I know that, once again, the box is my biggest number. It also has a 3 under it, so it goes, this is where my biggest number is going to be, so that box goes at the top, because at the top of the triangle is where my biggest number goes. Then 56 and 33 automatically go at the bottom. So this triangle is telling me that I need to do, ooh, that was crazy, sorry guys, 33 plus 56, which I've already done over here to the side. And they'll come over here and they'll say 6 plus 3 is 9 and 5 plus 3 is 8. Now I'll ask them to go back and put it in here. Put that 89 in the box and see if it makes sense because the last part is solve and check. So we've solved. Now we need to check. 89 minus 56 equals 33. Does that make sense? In fact, that does make sense. They can even go as far as doing 50, 89 minus 56 or 89 minus 33 and see if they get the other answer. 
Um, we're just teaching them strategies. It's 1245. Once again, computer going off. Sorry, guys. We're just teaching them those strategies to be able to problem solve. We might have some kids who know how to problem solve right away, and they can go ahead and write this equation. But we might have some that need to take it that step further and figure out, use some more strategies to figure out how to get what goes in the box. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys soon.